It's not your father's shoe repair shop. It may not even look like most. Old Town Comfort Shoes and Repair is anything from old style. The shoe shop in Wauwatosa and Oconomowoc has adapted to survive and keep the dying art of shoe repair alive. It is a dying art. Um, a lot. What's happening is there's no school in, in Wisconsin anymore for it. And the guys that graduated the last uh, WCTC class are in their lower 50s. So um, it, it's you have to learn from somebody who has been doing it. And there are more and more shoe repairs going out, not new ones opening. But a lot of it too is you gotta be able to look on your own. I mean, I could show somebody the basics, but if they don't have the hand skills or up here to look at this shoe and think they, what they can do with it, you'll, you'll never do it. So that's what makes it hard. Not anybody can just walk in the door and say, I can fix shoes. Fareed Robinson is the cobbler at the store. Robinson has worked at Old Town for six years now. This is not just work, you know, I like to, I really uh, uh, like to see people uh, happy, you know, um, and um, I like to, whatever comes in, man, I try to make it as, as new as possible, you know. I put a lot of heart and soul into my work, you know. A lot of people don't even know, Some you got some people who don't know nothing about shoe repair that, you know, okay, I, I buy this thousand dollar shoe or I can get it repaired, you know. Um, or, uh, like with the younger generation, you know, they're very surprised that I me saying, hey, I work in a, a shoe repair shop or I can fix this or fix that, you know. and. Um, so you got all the, the older guys, you know, they're, they're closing down the shops and uh, I can uh, finish teaching the rest of the young guys out here how to do it, you know. Uh, yeah, and I feel like I'm, I'm the best, you know, I do. I don't think it's really nothing I can't do, man. Since Trevor and Mary Franson bought the store in 2005, they have adapted from just simple repairs to much more. When we bought the rep existing repair business, had a wonderful repair clientele. All you sold for retail was mini taka moccasins. And although they're a great product and they're not found easily, um, there's no support. They're just comfort. So um, we had the idea, it was my husband's vision, to add just the good 15 to 20 brands of good, comfort, supportive shoes. We do, um, we sell a wide variety of, of insoles ranging from $9 all the way up to $60. Um, arch support, medium, high, um, different sizing, different brands, heel supports, all different things. I always think there's going to be a need for shoe repair, but it's going to be more, it's going to be less and less soles, sole business, because it's become such a casual world. It really has. I mean, I'm not saying nobody dresses up, but there's not, it's becoming such a casual world where guys are not wearing their three-piece suits with their $300 Allen Edmonds anymore. There's still guys out there that do it, but not as much as there used to be even 10 years ago. I used to buy leather by the cases, now I buy it by the dozens because it's changing.